All right. Um, the next one we're going to create is going to be the overcast. So we have the overcast here and um, this is the reference that we're going to be using. We're going to pick one. I'm just going to pick this one as our reference. And let's try and match this to the to this scene. Um, I just created an environment light mixer and then I just added all the elements into the scene like before. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to increase the beer scattering scale. So let's go to the sky atmosphere and then in the overcast, for the overcast, I always increase the mirror scattering scale. All right. And then height for contribution, I'll drop that down. Right. And um, I already included the lens post-process. I'll just reset that so that it doesn't have any effect on our scene. So everything is in default. And then we have this. And what you notice is that um, we have a bit of fog contribution in our scene, so we don't really want that. So we can just drop it down a bit, right? And then for the volumetric fog, we can have that, but in the extinction scale, we can increase the extinction scale contribution just slightly maybe just a bit of fog contribution into the air so that it's not so um, dark. Then for the mirror, you can increase it slightly. All right. Okay. So what we can do as well, we can also reduce the fog contribution a bit in the aerial perspective in the scene. All right. That looks good. So finally, we, we're going to use this um, lens and film post-process plugin that, uh, that I bought earlier. And um, in the color management, I'm just going to switch that on and I'm just going to play with the green values, all right, to match something like the, like the, like the reference here. I'm just going to drop that down. And for the yellows, I'm just going to increase that a bit. All right. So we have something similar. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So if we're trying to create an overcast scene, this is what we're going to do. All right. So it's a very, very easy process. You just have to just um, play with your mirror, a mirror scattering scale here, just increase it and then just um, play with your height for contribution, your area perspective, as well as your height for contribution. So if you can reduce all these amounts and increase your mirror scattering scale, you're going to have something similar to this. All right. Hope this helped and uh, I'll see you in the next one.